So we're kicking off Miss Florida Week 2024 today. All the action takes place on the stage right behind us uh, throughout the week, but really all the work that goes into this week starts today and happens behind the scenes. You don't really see, see it on the stage. So the first step is uh, all the candidates check in, over 50 of them uh, will be checking in with us here today backstage at Yuki Theater. Uh, they will drop all of the stuff off that they need, all of their gowns, their props for talent. And then our team helps to get that backstage into the dressing rooms. And then they go on to uh, Spring Hill Suites to check in uh, with Miss Florida. And they're officially checked in for Miss Florida Week 2024. Candidates are excited to get here, uh, get unloaded, to get their stuff uh, backstage, because that really does mark the start of the week for them. So uh, they're excited to get the competition going, and it is a week full of activities. So it starts with this today. They go into uh, registration, rehearsals. Uh, there's a lot of luncheons throughout the week that they'll take part in. Um, and then really, it's almost like a side note, the competition that actually takes place on the stage. There's so many other activities throughout the week. So it's a full week. It's a great week. A lot of visitors come to Polk County for this to watch uh, their, their friends and family participate. Uh, so it's an exciting time and uh, we're happy to have Miss Florida back uh, over 10 years now in, in Polk County. Miss Florida candidates come from all over the state. So there are 37 Miss uh, co competing for the title of Miss Florida. They represent counties and, and different uh, competitions from all over the state. So top of the state to all the way down to, uh, to Miami-Dade County. They represent a lot of the counties there. Uh, and then you have the teen competitors as well. So part of the competition this week will be the Miss Florida teen uh, as well. And then you also have uh, the prince and princesses that come in. Uh, so the little ones that are, are kind of just starting out and, and look up to the Miss Floridas as role models. So uh, it's not just about the, the 50 or so that are competing on the stage. There's so many others uh, that are part of the week. And then of course, friends and family and relatives that come in to watch literally thousands of people coming into Polk County to participate in Miss Florida each year. We also organize a big gala, or uh, this year it's a luau event. It'll be held at uh, Camp Margaritaville. So all of the candidates, all of their families are able to go to that and just kind of celebrate the week. So it's another uh, way to get them further into the county and experience another one of our attractions in Camp Margaritaville. So uh, again, it's not just about what happens here on the stage. There's things going on all day, every day, from Monday all the way to Saturday night when the new Miss Ford is crowned. A lot of work goes into this event.
The Miss Florida competition uh, was held other places throughout the state, and uh, in 2013, uh, our staff from Polk County Tourism and Sports Marketing uh, worked to recruit the Miss Florida organization here to Polk County. They've been in Lakeland ever since 2014. Uh, so celebrating about 10 years here in Polk County. So uh, we're, we're very uh, fortunate to have them here and the economic impact that comes with the event. So it doesn't move around, it stays right here and we wanna make sure it stays that way. inclusive in all of your interactions. I think one of the greatest strengths that I have is being an empathetic, empathetic person. I definitely inherited that from my mother. And one of the greatest compliments I ever heard someone tell her is that she's like a chameleon. So any room she walks in, people can really relate to her. And I am honored to be like my mom in that way. I think that that's what can make you a really wonderful Miss Florida, is being that really well-versed, well-understood and empathetic individual. Thank you. Thank you. The work that goes into putting on the Miss Florida competition, the Miss Florida organization is a small group, a volunteer-based organization. So our staff at Tourism and Sports Marketing uh, really helps to supplement it and be an extension of their staff. So when they're here, uh, we're doing a lot of things for them for the ticketing uh, as far as checking in the candidates as they come in and then also helping them with logistics throughout the week, making sure everything runs smooth. Our first runner-up and winner of the $7,000 scholarship is Miss Florida Citrus. Take your first walk. 